Hello YouTube friends. We're going to do a sort of cooking video today, although it isn't cooking. There's no cooking involved, but it is food and it is making food. And um, I'm going to put Norma in the sitting room because I don't want her jumping on the table. Come on. Come on, there's a good girl. There you go. Good girl. Okay, so that's the cat uh, <laughs> excluded from the scene. We don't want cats in the, in the cooking. Uh, okay then, so what am I making? So I'm going to supper with my son and his wife tonight and they said, bring the dessert. Uh, what would you like? Now when John, my son, was a little boy uh, and I'd say to him, what would you like for tea, John? And he'd just say, oh, something nice. I'd say, can you be a bit more specific? No, just something nice, Mum. So when, I, when they said, come for supper and bring pudding, I said, what would you like? Just something lovely. <laughs> so I remembered a conversation that we had, oh, months ago. I was telling them about a pudding from the 1970s. And it wasn't like we had it often or anything, because, you know, my parents, uh, would, uh, our, my dad still is, my mum my and dad, were teetotalers, so there was never any alcohol in the house. But I must have had this dessert somewhere, more than once, because I remembered it and I was telling them about it. And John was saying, I can't even begin to imagine what that must be like, mum. And so I thought, well, I'll make it. And then, and you'll know it, some of you guys will definitely know this pudding. Um because it's, it's need what three ingredients we need we need a packet of ginger biscuits proper ginger biscuits we need um cream some double cream and sherry <laughs> and sherry okay then uh, i've got a few extra little bits that i'm going to uh, add in uh, to this to make it a little bit more uh 2019 <laughs> Uh, but basically, we're going to make this uh, cake, um, dessert, pudding, whatever it is. So the first thing I have to do then is whip up the cream um, in my bowl. So when I said I've got a few little extra tweaks, yes, we're going to have cream, whipped cream. But I'm going to put some vanilla in there. Some of this really, really, really lovely vanilla extract. Not your nasty vanilla. What's the other stuff you can get? Just vanilla flavouring. This is the proper good stuff. Shall I do all of it? Yeah, go on. Oh, that's a lot of cream. Okay. That's a lot of cream. But what I'm going to put in as well, I'm going to stir some mascarpone cream in. Uh, cheese. This is cheese, in fact, but I'm going to stir a bit of that in because that's one of my favourite things. I mean, people in the comments, they ask me, you know, am I vegan? No, because I like things like this. Not often. You need one of these like once a year, you know. Once a year, something like that. So I'm going to whisk this cream up then uh, here in this noisy way. You've got to watch it like a hawk at this stage because you don't want it to turn into butter. That's pretty good. And uh, because I want to put some more things in there, I'll leave it so that I can stir in this lovely, lovely vanilla. I'm just going to put uh, the tiniest bit of vanilla in there. It's not too much. That's not even a teaspoon. Um, yeah, that looks about perfect because we don't want it to overwhelm it. OK, and then I was looking, <laughs> believe it or not, there are recipes for this dessert. 
I was looking one up yesterday and it said that really a little bit of icing sugar is quite nice in there. So I'm going to put a very little bit of icing sugar because I don't want it to be too sweet. It's going to be a creamy dessert but it'll have a little tiny bit of sugar. I've got a spoon here. I've got my, a little strainer. So I'm just going to put a spoonful of icing sugar in there and I'll, I'll sift it through this here so that there are no lumps. A little bit of icing sugar, not much, so that you can probably not even taste it. Yeah, that'll be fine. Just That was maybe um, one tablespoon. Not that I'm offering this as a recipe. Honestly, it's so easy. You could manage to work it out for yourselves, I'm sure. So that's good. And then I'm going to put in some of this mascarpone cheese. I mean, it's called cheese, but really an Italian mascarpone. There's a joke about ponies and masks, but I can't remember what it is. Uh, and I'm just going to put some of this in. It's quite a, it's, I'll perhaps put half the tub in. Yeah, I've got a little tiny scrapey thing here. Yeah, I'll just put half of that in. That'll be enough. And it is already pretty stiff, so that should mix in nicely. Yeah, and that'll just give it another little taste that you'll hardly even taste. Okay, we're going to mix that in now. Gently does it. And I think it would be a public service, wouldn't it, if I was to taste that for you, just to let you know how it tastes. It's just, I have to do it, don't I? Just a little bit. That's perfect. You can barely taste the vanilla. I can't even taste the sugar, it's just there. There. And the mascarpone is just adding an extra creaminess. Okay, so that is perfect. Lots and lots and lots of cream. There we go. Let's put those on there. They'll be fine there. And park there for now. Now, this is now just a question of constructing. So I've got all this great cream here. And what we're going to do then if memory serves me right, I'm going to open up one of these packets of ginger biscuits. I bought two packets because I've got a lot of cream here. Okay, so I'm going to open this packet of ginger nuts up. You have to really use shop ginger biscuits. I guess you could use other things, but these McVitie's biscuits, I remember these from being a child uh, and, you know, having one of these with a glass of milk. I don't drink milk at all now. I can't bear the, the taste of just milk on its own. But when I was a kid, I had a glass of milk and a couple of ginger biscuits, and it was absolutely delicious. Now, the next thing we need to do then, and I'm going to bring you in a bit nearer and tilt you down a bit so you can see what I'm doing. And you can see what I'm doing rather than me. What we need now then is some sherry. Fe oh, yummy. Very delicious uh, sherry. And I'm just going to put a little bit in this um, bowl of mine here. Okay, and now it's just a question of assembling it. If I remember rightly, I'm going to make it in this bowl here. And do you know something? I think this might work better if you were, if we were overhead. Let's try that. Let's try this angle and see if it works. So I've got my sherry is here, my ginger biscuits are here. I'm going to make it in this lovely dish that my um, nephew's wife gave me and then my cream mixture is here okay so if I remember rightly what I do with this is I dip the ginger biscuit in sherry for a few moments not long I seem to remember and then I sandwich this together with cream another ginger biscuit dipped in sherry and then those two go together like so. And if I put them, lay them down like that for now, because I'm going to make them in a long log. Right. 
in the cream, sandwich it together. I'm not going to worry about that one. Uh, yeah, it'll be fine. In the sherry, what am I going to do with all this extra cream? Well, I've got two packets of biscuits. I guess I could make two, couldn't I? And then when it gets to that kind of size where it can stand up on its own, I'm going to put it sideways like so. Ah, this is working. Let's make all these the ones I've messed up. In the sherry, dollop of cream. Smash it together. Ah, yeah, this is great. Sherry, cream. Has anybody made this ever? I mean, it would have been in the 70s if you did. <laughs> and the idea is that I put this in the fridge now, once I've completed it, for the longest time, and all that sherry should soak into all the ginger biscuits, make them all really soggy and cake-like. And then, if I manage to do this properly, you then cut it at an angle so it's stripy. I'll see if I can, maybe I'll take the camera with me tonight and, um, and I'll show you what it looks like when we eat it. There's a hell of a lot of cream here, guys. Ah, oh, yes, this is exactly what it should look like. A long caterpillar. And I remember now, you hardly dip it in the sherry at all because they, it soaks up like mad. Yes, I've got a lot of cream. I think a smaller carton would have done. Still never want to do things by halves, eh? <laughs> and I've got two packets of biscuits so that I can make another one if I want to. Okay, I'm just going to carry on doing this till it's done. One of the recipes I looked at said uh, to cover the whole thing over with cream. Uh, and so as I have plenty of cream, I might do that. And then to serve, I've got some raspberries and blueberries that I'm going to just dot around. And then I'm going to grate some dark chocolate on it. Uh, that wasn't part of the recipe, but you know, any time you can grate a bit of dark chocolate, why wouldn't you? Oh, that one's got an uneven bit of cream. Let's do that one again. There we go. It'll be all right. I'm going to cover it with cream anyway. So my son was asking about this. <laughs> I hope he likes it. I'm sure he will. It's not a special occasion or anything. It's just I haven't been and had supper with them for the long, the longest time. So you can hardly call this a cooking video, can you? It's the simplest dessert. And you have to put it in the fridge now for, well, it says overnight, but of course I can't do overnight because I'm going tonight. Can we fit one more in the end there? Yeah, we can. Fit one more in there. Like that. Like so. And then I feel inclined to just get a little bit of sherry and just dribble it over the top. Just in case any of those biscuits didn't get enough. It's got to be, when it's cut, it's got to be quite um, soft and cake-like. So now we're going to uh, just put some cream on the top like that so that you can't see the structure of it. So it's a surprise when you cut into it. 
Well, it'll be a surprise. <laughs> they won't be expecting this at all. And then we'll wrap it in, we'll just, I'll cover it over with something and we'll get it in the fridge for, um, well, what's the time now? Two o'clock. And I'm going, it will be eating this around about eight, I guess. So that's okay, that's long enough. So I went into town to get all these ingredients just now. I couldn't believe the amount of rain there was. What a lot of rain. Crazy. Rain. Okay then, so I'll just move that sherry out of the way. I think I might just have to, I think I might just have to eat that biscuit that fell, out, fell apart. Mm. Oh, that's delicious. Okay, I've used about half the cream. So I'm gonna make a second one. We'll think of somebody we can give it to. Okay then. Let's see what the other side looks like. Put some more cream on there. Yeah, I've used exactly half the cream. Not really the kind of dessert you would eat if you were on a diet. But if you have this once a year, that's okay, isn't it? I want to try and get cream on the very edges as well. It also didn't take very long to make, did it? <laughs> Quick as anything. Okay. I'm not very expensive. I mean, okay, the cream. But the ginger biscuits were only a pound a pack. So when we serve that tonight, it'll be firstly it'll be cold, uh, having been in the fridge all day. But then there will be raspberries and blueberries scattered on both sides. Okay, what do we think, guys? Is that okay? Oh, I'll have to be. I'd like to tidy this end up a little bit if I can. A bit more cream on there. There we go. So n I won't do it now, but I'm going to put chocolate shavings all on the top. Dark chocolate shavings blueberries and raspberries and then we'll cut it and I'll show you it tonight when we eat it. <laughs> now then John, I wonder if you remember talking about this dessert for our, in, it's, it's a flashback to the 70s. Pavlova. No, it's not a Pavlova, no. Do you, I wonder if it was you I was talking to about it. Summer pudding. No, it's not. <laughs> it's the one with the ginger nuts and the sherry. Oh, what's it called? I can't remember, but it's um. <laughs> Do you remember me talking to you about yeah, it? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Well, I've made it. Does um, that mean you bought sherry? No, no, I had sherry. I had sherry. I bought um everything else. So there it is. Look now. I'm yeah. hoping that this has worked. Wrapped in cream. Uh, wrapped, yeah, wrapped. Yeah. Well, let's see if this works. So the idea is, <laughs> I think the raspberries <laughs> are going to make it more edible. <laughs> The idea is that you cut it on an angle. Well, you cut it however oh. you're supposed to cut it. <laughs> okay. You cut it on an angle like that. I feel like Michael Moore. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There's not going to be any audio, is there? Yeah. On, on your video? Yeah, sure. Oh dear. Oh, look at that. <laughs> look at that, Anna. 
<laughs> not going to be any audio. Of course there is. <laughs> okay, so then that goes in there like that. And then, so you cut it like that at 45 degrees. And then... Oh, hi. <laughs> that does look really good. It does, doesn't it? Wow. <laughs> I'm not sure I can eat that much. I'll have the little it's one. It's quite yeah. a lot of dessert. <laughs> it's quite a lot. <laughs> it is quite a lot, yeah. Well, there's been lots of breakfast. That's grouse is that one. <laughs> <laughs> but then you have to have a lot of fruit with it. Well, that's good. Okay. Uh, what do you think, John? Yeah, I mean, I'm curious to see what it tastes like. <laughs> so am I. <laughs> so am I. <laughs> I mean, it's cream and raspberries. It can't be that bad. Cream, raspberries, and ginger biscuits. It's a bit like Kranachan. Yes. <laughs> no, it is. I was trying to think it reminds me of a dessert, but that's what it is. It is, isn't it? it yeah, yeah. It's sort of. Well, we'll just we'll fish out all the raspberries and, and uh, the out of season blueberries, yeah? <laughs> Where did they come from? I went to Waitrose. I'll tell you the history of this, shall I? I thought, oh, I can get everything I need at the Arndale Co op. Yeah. It'll be fine. Everything I need there. But if it is ginger nuts, cream, and that's it. <laughs> and um, I got to the Allendale Co-op and they only had their own ginger nuts. They didn't have much bitties. I thought, I'm not doing own brand ginger nuts. So you drove all the way to Hexham for own <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> that's commitment. I'm going to stop recording now. Okay. So John, did you like your pudding? Yes, it was very good. Thanks. Which bit do you like about it best? The cream. <laughs> So, with the bit that's left, are you just going to scrape the cream off and eat it? Are the, the cream and some of the ginger biscuit. <laughs> but not much. If there's some ginger biscuit left, that will be okay. <laughs> but well, I appreciate the whole, okay, the whole thing. Okay, but if it's a dessert from the 1970s, I won't have to make it again for another 50 years, will I? Well, you know, it's better than no dessert. It is, it is. Well, thank you for, for dinner. I enjoyed that very much. Did you enjoy that, Anna? Very much. Good. Yes. Okay, so we are actually listening to the carpenter, so this might not work. Yes, it's very cheesy. <laughs> okay, good night, guys. Good night. <laughs>